Oh, hello. This is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life. Oh, we got Dick. I'm not here. Oh. John's not here. John and Dad aren't here because they're old and it's morning. But we're out here at deer camp because John let us come to try and kill some deers. Dick looks much more excited and thrilled yep. than he did the start of bow season last year. A lot warmer. <laughs> well, we didn't sleep in hammocks last night, so. No, so, we're, we're doing better. Yep. We're gonna take to the field and see if we can, what, stick us a spiky boy. Stick us a spiky boy. Gotta stick boy. a spiky boy. Thanks for joining us. Dick tip, be kind and courteous when hunting on other people's private property. Dick's just going up into his tree, just getting the first shooting light. Gotta get his harness on up there. There's the bubble. Really wanna make sure you're using your harness at a tree stand so you don't die. Time to get me into mine. John maintains a gorgeous property. He and Dad are already in their trees. I got Dick up. It's time to uh, show you my tree fort. Let's go. Yeah, if you follow the ladder up, it would, the roof's completely collapsed. That's okay, still gonna hunt for her. I built that roof my first year here. I'm actually shocked it lasted this long. We're gonna go up there, get ourselves in, and I'll check in. Well, that was pretty much a disaster. There's my collapsed roof. Pretty much filling the whole top of my stand. And when I tried to move it, I spooked about four deer out from behind my tree. So I can't actually get into my tree. And there are deer here. I'm gonna try and figure out if I can finagle my way onto this platform and get it done still, but... Gonna take some effort. in a tree stand. He said he scared some my way, but I haven't seen nothing yet. Still, I'm ready. Dick tip. Make sure you can make the shots you take. So that's the tree fort and this is where I shot. At John's we have a rule about confirming a miss. If you think you missed, you have to go find your arrow before you can shoot at another one. So I went and I found my arrow because I was pretty sure I missed at that, but here she was stuck, passed through all the way on the ground, just absolutely saturated in blood. Full deployment, lots of hair. Well, boys, it looks like we got a uh, buck to go find, eh? That was too quick and easy. Drew got a buck. I want to get it right now. Got my new sight. My new quiver. I'm set. So let's update you on what's been going on trundled my way into my stand for the first time in two years because we've been hunting public land the last couple years and my roof was completely destroyed off my blind there's no roof at one point there was a roof up there now the roof is all over the ground 
because when I got in this morning, uh, the roof was completely covering everything I could stand on, so I had to throw it down to the ground and I spooked a bunch of deer out. Uh, I was not ready in any way to sneak my release on and all I could do was get my GoPro turned on at the last second. And you know, I guessed about 30 yards and I rangefindered it after the fact and it was exactly 30 yards and I let an arrow go and I thought I missed because that deer looked like it did a backflip, man. It did some Neo Matrix stuff to avoid me. I went and found my arrow and it is just covered in blood and viscera. I don't have the deer. So now I'm waiting for my dad to come in and help me track it because he is a lot better at tracking blood than I am. I don't know if it's years of experience or if the man is just that bloodthirsty, but here's my issue and why I have to wait for dad. Arrow had full deployment, those heads came out and you can see a bunch of fur, which means it hit good. And it's brown, which means it didn't hit belly. And there's viscera on the arrow, not just blood. Then if you look down here, the fletchings are just coated. Which means that this arrow got full pass through. Went all the way through the body. But if you look around, there is no other blood. So that's why I'm waiting for Mifaja. The previous owners. Oh, there she goes. Yep. Oh, yeah. Dick tip. Make sure you have extra arrows with you in the tree in case you miss your first shot. <laughs> or get a second shot. <laughs> We're back at camp. Kara missed us. We ate some lunch. And now Dick and I are getting ready to go back out and look for my deer some more. Yep, yeah, we studied the GoPro footage and it turns out that there was three of them there. And a couple of them went north as opposed to the other one. So we're going to kind of pan out and check the whole area, see if we can find it. So we're back out here in the field. Yep. Got my tree stand back there behind me where we found the arrow. This is where we've been starting all our searches from. We searched that way pretty heavily so far, but after judging and analyzing the video from his GoPro, kind of looks like it may have went this way. Yeah, we were looking, we were looking west and we should have been looking north, yeah. east. We north. were looking east and we should be we looking, been north, looking north. I think we went in the wrong direction. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna span out north, northeast. See if we can't find this guy. I think we're gonna have to call it a day on that one. Which is just terrible. It's like the worst feeling as a hunter to know you, to know you hit something and not be able to find a trace of it. Like there's no blood beyond what's on the arrow, but the arrow is just covered. <sighs> I don't know. So we're gonna have to chalk this one up to a loss. First time I see deer in a couple years, and that's what I do about it. Great. Seems about right. I guess I'll get back at it tonight. 